Come with me and we'll be in a place of caffeinated coffee. Take a sip and you'll see. It's bitter, that is bitter. <laughs> Let's talk about coffee. Raise your hand if you love coffee. Now raise your hand if you love tea more than coffee. Eh, wrong answer, that was a test. You're supposed to say coffee. <laughs> Statistics have shown that three in five people drink a cup of coffee to start their day. And Mr. Willy Wonka, a candy inventing genius, is one of those people. Check this. Wonka goes to Starbucks and overhears the person in front of him place an order. <clears throat> Can I get an iced half-calf ristretto, not one, not two, not three, but four pumps, sugar-free, cinnamon, dolce, soy, skinny, la-la, latte. Get all that? Nope, and neither did Wonka. So when it's Wonka's turn, he's going to order a simple coffee because he's a simple lad. But just what is it that makes coffee man's best friend? What's the secret ingredient? Well, since you asked, inside of coffee is a stimulant called caffeine, which tricks your brain into thinking you're not tired. So when your brain says sleep, Caffeine says, no, no. You see, our bodies produce a chemical called adenosine, which binds to receptors in the brain and slows down brain activity, thus making us feel sleepy. But due to having a similar structure, when caffeine's in town, it impersonates adenosine and binds to the receptor instead. So instead of being calmed, your brain gets triggered, which causes the nerve cells to speed up. And your pituitary gland, which produces hormones, senses this, starts freaking out, and signals hormones left, right, and center to release adrenaline, the fight or flight response. On the count of three, I need everyone to put their hands up and say, yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! yeah! That is exactly what adrenaline says. Adrenaline comes to spice up your life by making your pupils dilate, your heart beat faster, your blood pressure increase, and your blood vessels constrict. All these symptoms are indicators that you've been hit by, you've been struck by smooth adrenaline. <laughs> adrenaline also affects dopamine levels by preventing it from getting reabsorbed by the brain, which just means you'll feel good. The sun will be shining, the angels are singing, and you'll just feel so happy. Ironically, this is actually the same thing cocaine does, but not to the same extent. <laughs> Question, will drinking coffee kill you? It's impossibly possible. The lethal dose of caffeine is 150 milligrams per kg of your body. So depending on your weight, disclaimer, don't try this at home, you would need to consume between six and seven grams of caffeine, which would be like drinking 50 or more cups of coffee in a day, which is essentially impossible to do because your body can't take that. Ain't that right, Wonka? Wonka over here is still in his first cup, but he's not going for the 50. On average, he drinks one to three cups a day. Keeps him feeling alert and energized. Without coffee, he'd feel anxious, grumpy, and turn into an Oompa Loompa. Oh, would you look at that? I gotta go. It's coffee time. <laughs>